I'm going to teach you about how to work on fascia blasting, our stomach area, but also um, working the lymph in that area. So what I like to do to start with on my abs is oil up. And it can be with Ashley's oil or any kind of oil that's going to glide. But I come down the center and I'm kind of like jiggling a little on my lymph line. And then I like to go back and forth on my stomach to get the lymph fluids moving. Then I come over from back behind, right? And I'm putting it up and around and around and around, going into my hip flexor area where there's a big duct there. So that's how I start my fascia blasting. Now let's go ahead and get the pro. Pro Blaster and a Pro Nugget. And let's go straight down the center, wiggling in that lymph line all the way down. Now, as you can see, I don't have a fat issue on my stomach. That's not my issue. I do have a lot of scar tissue from tubal pregnancy and, and um, double hernia. And so I have to keep the tissue moving for health and trying to unadhere where I've got deeper adhesions from some previous issues. So as you can see, I'm coming right up over the rib cage on the side, on both sides of my waist and both sides of that hip bone. I always go up and over bones quite a bit. I spend more times uh, joints than I do the belly of the muscle because the suspension and stability system called fascia loves to stick to those joints and help our joints stabilize when we're not using them right. Now, a lot of people have a, a more fat in this area. If you do, you can Flex your legs together, so squeeze your knees together, flex your rear end, lean your butt forward and your belly back, your shoulders back and scrub that area. Okay, then we're going to do that exact same thing with the pro nugget. So up and over bones very light. You don't need to be doing any intense pressure. These, it's already pointy. It's already intense. You just are scrubbing dust like if you had a big bar of soap and you're just cleaning yourself in the shower. But this is how I keep my body healthy at 60. I'm going to be 61 in a couple of weeks. And we just keep on keeping on, right? Keep doing what I need to do to keep my body healthy by eating right. Do you do a personalized diet, exactly what I need. It Knowing what's feeling good for your body and keeping your inflammation low has everything to do with on the, with on the end of that fork. So get, Get responsible for what's on the end of that fork. Don't live a militant lifestyle, but just be responsible. If we eat too many sugars, it breaks down our ability to produce collagen, which means we don't age very well, nor do we feel very well. And that's also where you can find a lot of systemic inflammation from gut bacteria issues or overconsumption of sugar. Okay. So then put my knees back together. I'm gonna to lean back again and kind of scrub that middle, barely even putting any pressure on because the pro nugget is already pointy and it already goes deep. Okay, and then to flush, flush once again, back to those ducts, the lymph ducts at the hip crease and this is a great time to go and get your cryo pack and put your cryo pack on your belly as you just walk around and you do go about your day. Okay, really simple, easy way. Um, and we can get into more like arm stuff and 
deeper layers as we go along here. So you just keep me posted what you're interested in. Okay, you guys have a great day.